talked about it this offseason with Coach Nico and his staff in, in the weight room, really, and, and then on the field with the training that we had. And, man, they did a lot of great work. That was awesome to see. But then we came out in the spring um, installing a new defense, you know, a bunch of new kids on that side of the ball. You know, I feel like on, on, on offense, you had a bunch of guys back on, on offense for this, this spring, which was nice for us compared to last spring. And, you know, I thought we got accomplished what we needed to get accomplished, and which was, you know, getting through spring with learning what we needed to do offensively and defensively with our new players, um, and then competing at a high level. I thought every practice, they were trying to make each other better at the, at the competitions. And, you know, Today, we didn't do as much today. I mean, we were going to keep it very simple today. You know, we didn't we didn't rush more than three all day on defense. And that was intentional. Um, offensively, um, kept it a little bit more simple as well. And just really let the guys go out and play. I mean, today, because everybody played on both sides, so both sidelines. Um, you, you really wanted to keep, keep it clean and not have a sloppy game, which I thought we did for the most part. And, um, you know, so it was a great day. Um, I really want to give a – you know, shout out to all the fans that showed up today. I thought it was a great atmosphere out there for our spring game. Um, and really this week, this week's been very special. Uh, you know, starting on Thursday when the Kelsey brothers came back and met with their, our team. Um, you know, Jason met with the O-line and Travis met with the tight ends. Um, and they being able to go see their, their podcast uh, Thursday night, that was a, a great celebration as well. And, um, you know, and, and then the golf outing that we had. I mean, we had over 200 former football players come back for this golf outing on, on Friday. Bad weather, they didn't care. They're not very good golfers anyway, so it didn't really matter. But uh, they, they went out and had, they had a good time. Um, and then we had our captain's breakfast this morning. We had 40 captains that came back this morning um, from, you know, I think the earliest guy, I think it was a captain in 1960 and then all the way to 2022. So um, it was great to hear from them that, you know, several of them got up and spoke. We had all our seniors that was at the breakfast to be able to, to hear and for them to share with our guys. Um, you know, and you know, today, I mean, so many NFL players come back. You know, yesterday I played with Josh Wiley and, and Alec um, Pierce, and um, you know, Sauce was out here today. I mean, it's just a, you know, a lot of our NFL players, you know, current players as well as guys that played a long time in the league that's got Super Bowls and championships, and um, you know, it, it just tells you about the rich history that this program has. Uh, so many, so many great people that are associated with this program, and, and every time this week comes around, last year. It was really my first time to get to see it, but this year, you know, having known the faces now, it was so much more special, I think, um, to be able to hang out with all these guys. So it's a special place here, and, um, you know, excited about our team as we head into summer. Questions for Coach? I don't know what you would call it, but the, the way you organized the defense this, this spring with the pods or whatever it was, I know you talked early about going out of that into traditional ones and twos, but you stayed with it. We did. What did you get out of that that was that was so valuable to stay in that system? Yeah, I mean, I, I just think, you know, we had red, red and black, okay? And so and each day we changed it up. You know, what, the one day the red would start out first, the next day the black started out. Because I, I didn't want to say anybody to say you're a starter or you're a second team or a third team, it doesn't matter. You know, if you ask our freshmen that just got here, they got as many reps as anybody. I mean, they, those guys, you know, Zay Johnson and Simeon Coleman, I mean, these guys, Jake Wheelock, I mean, they're, they're getting a ton of reps out here. Um, but I wanted, we wanted to do, do that on purpose. We wanted everybody to feel like every position is up for grabs. Everybody's competing for that spot on this field. I mean, Dante Corleone, I told him, you get in competition, buddy. And Jay Hunt gave him a lot of great competition this spring. I thought he had a great spring. So it was every single position. And we did that on purpose, and we continue that all through. And, and you know what? It's going to be that way all through summer, too. You know, we'll find out in August, probably, you know, toward the end of higher grounds when we figure out who's going to be our starters. We tried out that first game. So I want, I want that competition. What's your, what was your impression of the quarterback position today and Samaj and the white uniform, full contact? Mm -hmm. How do you kind of go about making that decision? You did that with Brady last year. Yeah, I mean, I, we, always, we always try to do that with a young player. You know, I, I don't ever want a, a, one of our players – to go out and their first time getting tackled is on, on a game, you know. So we want it to happen. There. Quite honestly, they wanted to, though. They wanted it all, all spring. Um, some odds did last year. Drug guys did. So we give them what they wanted, you know. Let's see. Let's see. You know, yeah, some odds came in here. I mean, it's a, he looks like a linebacker anyway, you know. I mean, the guy did 225, 17 times. He's stronger than some of our linebackers have been here, you know, so on the bench press. So, but no, it was good. I, I thought today was a, a solid day by our guys. I mean, Samaj had, to, to me, the, the one mistake on the – Interception. They, he said he was trying to throw it away, but you got to make sure certain that it's out of bounds. Um, you know, I, I thought the guys played very good. I mean, today was a lot of drop base, so you're not going to find as many windows in the back end. They did a good job of, you know, throwing some underneath throws. Um, 
so I, I thought it was very solid by those guys. Man, they're, they're such great people um, in that quarterback room. And, you know, and, and that's what you want. You know, they're trying to help each other out. Um, but yet, at the same time, they're trying to compete. I mean, they all want to play. We all we all understand that. And and they're trying to do the best job they can once they get out there. The thing about it is you're, you're throwing a bunch of guys into the huddle that some will play next year for, some won't. You know, and you don't know what's going to be in there. Sometimes you call a route, the guy may not run the right route. So, I mean, it's a little bit, I think, difficult for those guys. But at the same time, I thought they did a really good job with it. Um, you know, running back wise, I thought that those guys ran hard today. You know, we held Corey out. I mean, we know what he can do. He can break a lot of tackles, right? We didn't want to, he takes a lot of beating in the fall. We didn't want to have him get beat up in the spring. So we allowed those other guys to play, and we need to see them. And I thought, they, man, they had some really good, strong runs today. And this is the first day we really tackled this much. You really can't tell how a running back is going to be until you tackle. And, and so we needed that with those backs. I thought they ran hard, they ran tough, they made some good cuts, um, took care of the ball when they ran it. So I thought that was, to me, was really, Really pleased to see that in that running back room. Uh, thought tight ends did some nice things blocking um, and catching, you know. So I really feel good about that room. Um, you know, I think uh, I think it was fun to see. You know, wide receiver wise, we, we were out missing some a few guys today, and so you know some of the other guys had to play. But um, I still I thought Sterling had a, a really Burkhardt had a really good spring ball. I thought he had a couple good catches out here. Kale caught him a nice deep ball in the back corner of the end zone. He, he's had an impressive camp as well. He can really run. Um, you know, I think uh, me or Tyron Smith didn't do much today, but he's, he's a very solid player for us as well. So, you know, I thought wide receiver down a little bit today, but I still think this overall spring they, they did a good job with it. You've got Carter Brown back to kick, but the long snapper's different, the holder's different. Made everything today, including a 55 yarder. Did you see that unit grow over the course of 15 practices? You know, I think. Uh, and, and then Fletch hits, hits some bombs today too. You know, I, I think um, I think Carter struggled a little bit this spring, quite honestly. And um, you know, wasn't as consistent, but he's working through some things. You know, he's obviously trying to get better. Um, you know, but I thought, man, he kicked it great today. It's the best he's looked today. I mean, he he hit him, he nailed him. It was um, there was really no doubt once he kicked the ball that it was going in. And that's what you want to see. You want to see that confidence. You know, Fletch has been around a long time. He's holding out, but he's been around here. Um, you know, but I think the operation today was good. We got a lot of kicks today that we needed to see live action. And, and you know, when the lights are on and, and people are in the stands, that's when you got to knock it down. And that, that was, I was proud of Carter the way he came out and did that today, and as well as Fletch. You know, Fletch, he missed probably the first half of spring. Um, and then toward the end, started getting back punting a little bit. But today was really his first big live day. And, I mean, I thought he kicked the ball great as well. So. You know, it feels good to have those guys come back off a team, especially with the experience that they got last year. Coach Five runs out on the field uh, after Logan makes the pick there at the end. Uh, how do you gauge and judge the defense on a day when, you know, two of the guys are in red shirts? So sometimes it looks like, well, maybe they yeah. <laughs> they might have made it or maybe they wouldn't have. Had. Well, I mean, that spring, you know, we, we, we'll go back on film and you'll say, yeah, they're in a great position to make it. I think that's all you can ask for is be in the position to make the plays. Um, you know, I, I think it, it's hard to tell at some point, you know, when you, as you're looking at it out here, when you go back and watch the film, you really get to see, you know, where was their alignment? Were they, were they properly aligned? What was their steps? Were they, was the depth correct? Were their hand placement correct? And that's what you want to see as a coach. Are they doing the correct things fundamentally? Um, you know, and then, you know, when it's live like this, are they bringing their feet running and trying to tackle these running backs? I mean, I think that's, that's the other thing we've got to go back and look at. If, you know, who, who missed tackles, who didn't, who needs to work on those type things? With the adjustment of the defense to Tyson Bite's system, how much have you seen that that group kind of gel together? And, and what does it look like timeline wise in terms of just the install of that mm -hmm. whole system as you get in the summer? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, it's it's a slow process. You know, we really took it slow early in the spring. Then toward the middle level, you know, we started doing a lot more things with it. Today, we dialed it right back and just did day one install stuff today. The call sheet was probably three plays on it today. We just want to see the guys run around and make plays. But, um, you know, I think this summer is going to be big. You know, anytime you got a new a new scheme, you know, we got to take advantage of these days in the summer um, by meeting with our kids and, and and really going through this, dissecting what we got to do, and then August obviously higher ground. You know, putting everything we in, need to put in in order to start the season. But pleased with where we are defensively. You know, after, as we come through the spring, um, a lot of new faces on that side of the ball, and, and a lot of guys that I think will be able to play and help us. In year one, there was pretty clearly some gains that needed to be made and physicality, yeah. athleticism, length. When you look at this team out there, how much closer do they look like to, to long term where you want to get this thing? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, we're, we're pleased like, you know, for example, the, the 10 high school players that came in, we're excited about those guys. I, I thought, 
you know, those guys came in and, and really came out and made, like Sanks today. Sanks made a couple of great plays. I mean, he looks like he belongs out there, you know. So that's what you want to be able to see is those guys play, making plays. Simeon, he, he looks like he belongs, you know. So um, I think uh, those tight ends, man, I, I think they're going to be really good. You know, it's just it's good to see them. And, and the thing that we love about it, because those early enrollees, they get a million reps. We get to coach off of that, make those mistakes and corrections, and then come back out. Um, you know, Zay Johnson, really good one. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, really all of them. I can go on all ten of them. And, um, you know, we had, I think, five or six of our signees were here today as well. And, and they're, they're looking good, you know. So can't wait to get to them in the summer. So, I mean, you know, and then the transfers. You know, think about, particularly in the defensive back room, you think about maybe the safeties and, and, and the corners. You know, we brought in some guys. I think they'll be able to help us compete at this level. One more for Coach. Used to be after today you could maybe head to the beach, but this, this portal thing starts to go. And uh, how does that affect your next couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's always busy. I mean, we stay busy, you know, and I think, um, you know, for us right now, next week, we're going to we'll meet with our guys. we got a team meeting on Monday. We'll, we'll meet with our guys. Man, we like where we're at with our team. You know, I feel good about our guys. Um, you know, it's, it's all about culture. It's all about connecting and being having a fit. And this is a tight team. You know, I, I think that this team cares about each other. Uh, you know, even the guys that just got here, I feel like, you know, the guys are really working hard to connect with each other. And I think that's what it's all about. And I think when you create that culture, guys want to be a part of that. They want to be on that team. Every team's not like that. Every, you know, every team's not where everybody's pulling for each other. And I think we're creating that. We're year, you know, it's going to be year two. We're headed in that direction. And, um, but it is. It's, aggra it's aggravating that we have to deal with this, but it's part of it. And, you know, but we'll sit down. We'll meet all, with all our guys and figure out where we need to go. We have, we have a few more scholarships available. So, you know, we'll look to add a, few, a couple more guys to, to come into the mix to where we feel like we need to get some more um, either depth or, or a position that may need some help as a starter. So we'll go evaluate that and see where we're at. And, uh, but I'm just looking forward to this summer and getting back with our guys and working with them, you know, all summer long. Appreciate Thank you, you guys. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.